Hello everybody. I want to start by thanking the organizers of this Disability Data Festival for inviting me to have um, a small reflection with you on why is that it is important to discuss about disaggregation, why is that we need to have data disaggregated by disability. To start with, of course, and I know I'm preaching to a converted, we need to have data to inform policy, we need uh, data so that we can design and develop better policies to address the needs of persons with disabilities. And the second place, we need data to measure progress, because if we do design a policy, we also need to know how this policy is working and the population that we, or that this policy is aimed to protect. And the third reason why is that, of course, after we develop the policy, after we measure the progress, we also need this to inform the policy change. After the process of measurement, we also need to know uh, where to go with the policy and where do we need to look uh, for change. So, and why is that we need that now? And I think this is the question of urgency. Why is that we are talking so much about urgency? As we all know, uh, we are having these discussions in the framework of the recent adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals that for the first time included concrete references to persons with disabilities. These references, together with the indicators that were developed, are now the basic framework that we have to push for changes in the ground uh, to push for new policies that will directly improve, hopefully, the lives of persons with disabilities. And thus, in this case, time is of essence. Uh, since the adoption of the SDGs, we had already seen um, three years passing by, and in many cases, in many states, unfortunately, we still don't have a basic baseline that will help us to develop this policy, to measure the policy, and of course, to change the policy to make it uh, better. Um, so how or what do we need now? And I think that the challenges we have ahead of us is exactly uh, how to build the capacity of countries that don't have the capacity to collect this data, how to support the states in uh, their efforts to collect this data, and how to work together uh, towards that aim. And I think that for that, of course, you will be discussing this, but we have a very cost-effective and simple tool uh, with the Washington Group set of questions. Uh, we believe that this is the tool that at this point is ready to be used to start the process of disaggregation, disaggregation uh, of data by disability. But we still have, as I was mentioning, many challenges ahead. Challenges that refer to the lack of capacity of, uh, of many states to implement these questions. Uh, we still need to think about how to translate the questions better. We still need to think about how to adapt it to the cultural environment in each country. And for that is that we need joint action uh, and a strong action to move forward. So how do we do that? Well, we need the UN system to work together. We need civil society to join the groups. We need, of course, the national statistical offices to get engaged in these discussions and to increase their capacity with regards to how to collect data uh, of persons with disabilities and how to disaggregate data in, in a cost-effective manner. I think that, as I said before, with the SDGs, we have a great opportunity to develop the policies that we need to change the lives of persons with disabilities. And I hope that this kind of discussion, that this festival is going to help us to move forward in that regard. And I thank you very much for the opportunity. I wish you a very successful discussions. Thank you very much.